Acha. You have already appreciated chanting? But it's only in your, in your heart and in your mind. You have to put things in action. At least there are three types of interventions. First is the physical or technological. UBLB is known for its science and technology uh, breakthroughs. So we apply technology in the restoration. Like this, they do uh, surveying of the valuable uh, plants and animal resources in Makili, at the same time applying the right technology of growing crops. Of course, we have your socio-economic, political, and legal interventions. Now we have the National Greening Program, who has technical, social, and economic expectations. Napakaganda po program. Almost all agencies are involved. They call it holistic approach. And it's currently being implemented for six years. And they are targeting, uh, I think, 1.6 billion plants in six years. In 1.6 million hectares. What happened? I suggest you observe. There are a lot of tree planting degrees or regulations. More than 20 years ago, we have tree planting decrees saying every individual 10 years are about to plant 10 seedlings a year. So if you age by, uh, by, by 20, then you have planted many seedlings already. And we have a lot of environmental laws, including Clean Water Act, Air Act, Solid Waste Management Act, and other acts, acts, a lot of acts. But it seems that little things has happened very well. Why? Because people are more interested in the material value of the things. But there is another behavioral attitude and more spiritual value. Volunteerism is one of a very interesting approach. You give yourself to it. And in these activities, we have collaborative tree planting and nurturing. In the in QPLB, we have no more tree planting for 20 years now. We have only tree planting and nurturing. Okay? And very important, children are involved in this. There is a publication in the uh, newspaper about children in Manila who, who go to uh, Laguna to practice what they learned from the classroom. Important kids learn to plant and nurture the kids. They volunteer from Manila to Tranca. And of course, because of these problems that we have, the spiritual aspect is that since we have committed sins and wrongdoings, the first step is repent to God. And what does the scripture says? Second Chronicles 7 14 says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sin and will help them. So restoration of this country the earth will only happen if there is a spiritual dimension. And you have to ask wisdom of the Lord. There are a lot of knowledge already learnings, especially from scientists. But they treasure it from their own knowledge. We have to ask the application of this knowledge for the welfare of man and the environment. And of course, we have to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, who is the creator, sustainer, and reconciler of all things. And the last but not least, the final step, apply what we have learned. 
Remember, firstly, we have seven problems identified. But now we have seven practical ways of doing this. These are at least seven. First, we have to manage waste properly. Don't trust litter. Waste conservation should start from our own respective homes. Huwag nyo nang sisihin yung ating mga kalagbahay from our respective homes. Reduce, reuse, and recycle resources. Especially now that a lot of people need our assistance those damage ng hydro. Plant, nurture, and grow trees. Trees supply oxygen to the atmosphere for month and day. And man supplies and for dioxide to the during the process of production. You know, a lot of people are doing tree plantings. Even in this university, I am here since 14 to 20 years. And I'm in charge of And most of tree plantings say, plant, take picture, and goodbye. That's why Chancellor William said, Pata, no more tree planting. Plant and nurture should be our scheme. Okay? And farm organically. Okay. Marami na po ngayon organic farming. But we notice that meron pa rin infusion ng pandaraya. So change of heart pa rin po. Okay lang. And conserve energy. Conserve po tayo ng energy. And get involved in pollution control. There are a lot of pollutants nowadays. Not only physical pollution, but mental pollution. If you watch the TV, there are a lot of mental pollution. Especially among us men, because pornographic pollutants. And number seven is be an active environmental Active. I would like to show you our model. Our model is Studio Malina. More than two years ago, he was an active environmental forest uh, technician. He goes to the mountain, do the protection, even alone, and even go to the jail to tell them about the kingdom of the Lord for Jesus Christ. Lahat pinatawa but he was gun down with the red bushes. It's a vision. Siya po ay naglilingkod ng maayos. And because of that, he get an award of honor from wala kanya. He is one of our models. I told him, bago po siya namatay. Jojo, sabi ko sa asawa ko, I told my mind, if I die earlier than you, to my wife, please put my ass on this mountain because I have been here since 1971. I love this mountain. Pero now na siya. That's why nung matay po siya, yung ass niya ay nilagay doon sa mundo ng kilip. Nandun po siya. So, we have to be a hero for our environment. What is the challenge? God's earth is in trouble. Real trouble for those who will inherit the earth there from this generation. If we will not do something, and the degradation of our earth will continue, my grandchildren and my grandchildren's children will be in great trouble. But it is not too late. Time remains for our generation to change its ways. We need to change our heart. Like King David, a man of God's heart. We have to have pure heart, clean hands, and obedience to the Lord and Savior. Psalm 24, verse 1 to 5, has a promise to us that we will be uh, given opportunity to reach 
heaven for this kingdom. If we have your heart and faith. Thank you very much.